Okay. Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. It is now December 5th of 2023, and there's been a lot of things going on over at Disney, both with their productions and within the corporate ladder. We're talking about the executives, the board of directors, and even Bob Iger stands as CEO. There's a lot of change coming in for 2024 in the wake of the Elon Musk drama that erupted, by the way, at the, at the New York Times Deal Book Summit. We all were very shocked and surprised about what Elon Musk said on stage against Bob Iger. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. Now, one thing about Bob Iger is that we all know that this man lies through his teeth. He will say whatever he has to say to string along his what he calls, at least, customers, and the shareholders alike. Now, we know that the top shareholders are the main problem over at Disney, and I think it's very important to continue calling them out. BlackRock, Vanguard, and State Street are the ones funding all of this nonsense with DEI and ESG that are all hypocritical and flawed strategies to begin with and contradictory in nature. Now, interestingly enough, there's a lot of things that are happening with Bob Iger and exactly what he recently did behind the scenes as a way to expedite a specific plan with his cost containment plan that is now wreaking havoc within Disney. Let's go over all of this, shall we? Now, specifically, we're, we already know that Elon Musk is very much relentless at this point in time with calling out Disney and really setting up this strategy to go against Disney behind the scenes. However, with Disney currently in a delicate position after the Daily Wire, South Park, and Elon Musk all going against Bob Iger's woke agendas, one major development has to do with Bob Iger recently firing thousands at Disney after the Elon Musk drama that happened at the Deal Book Summit recently. Now, one major development surrounding this ongoing update at Disney is planned to go into full effect by 2024 and is part of Bob Iger's second phase of the cost containment plan that is entering into, like I said, its second phase. In a shocking turn of events, Bob Iger made a quick decision just after the Elon Musk call out to expedite his second phase of the cost containment plan, which not only involves budgeting limitations of all productions, but also the firing of thousands of employees across the board altogether. This involves cast and crew of various productions for both film and television, Disney Park employees around the globe, and even those high up in the corporate ladder. Now, originally, Bob Iger wasn't supposed to greenlight this second phase to his cost containment plan until the second quarter of 2024 that would go into full effect by the summer of next year. However, now, surprisingly, as it turns out, just after Elon Musk said what he said on stage, Iger is moving at full force where he just greenlit this plan that is now going into full effect at Disney as soon as the first quarter of 2024 sometime. Now, this is the first big sign that 2024 will be an even worse year for Disney compared to this year. This is also going to deeply impact Lucasfilm, the studio responsible for Star Wars and Indiana Jones productions. Now, Bob Iger is also speeding up the cancellation of several Star Wars and Marvel projects just after the Elon Musk drama that wasn't supposed to head into cancellation and or delays until at least by the middle of 2024. Now, this is a for sure sign that Disney is indeed frightened over how relentless Elon Musk has become with Disney as he plans to continue to call them out using several platforms, including his own X platform. Bob Iger is also planning to expedite his announcement of the second phase of the cost containment plan that will include the firing of thousands of employees that are now a for sure thing by Disney and an announcement for this is planned in the coming weeks with one of the Hollywood trades in the wake of the Elon Musk drama. Now guys, let me just say one thing before I get to the major conclusion about all of this that I think is the real nail in the coffin for Disney. Now, the thing about Bob Iger is that we know that he is doing whatever he can to save his legacy as a CEO for the next two, two and a half years, give or take, right? Now, yes, given that he is planning to step down in 2026 at contract end, he wants to make sure 
that both 2024 and 2025 will be the safest years possible for Disney. And that's why you're seeing all these drastic moves right now by Bob Iger and the board of directors of Disney after Elon Musk calling them out. Now, we discussed this months ago, the second phase of the cost containment plan would involve firings across the board. And he already did this at Walt Disney Studios, one of the divisions over at Disney that is already tumbling as we speak, and how it's going to have a major impact on budgeting limitations for Frozen 3, and even a fourth Frozen that's currently in the very early development phase. They're not even quite sure if that's going to be concrete just yet. Frozen 3 is, however, just to be clear. And what really just spells doom for Disney at this point is if you look at it in the long term, that's where you don't really see this company moving onwards in a successful way. You know, if you want to look at Disney where it's going to stand in 2027 or 2028, if there even will be a Disney as we see how it is right now, that's a bigger question, right? So there's a lot of things heading into this cost containment plan that I think is truly going to be the final nail in the coffin for all the years moving onwards. I think that 2024 is going to be a very big year, negatively speaking, by Bob Iger, by the board of directors, and all the executives over at Disney, and it's going to create a ripple effect. There's no doubt about that. Now, let's move on, shall we? Now, surprisingly, Disney accounts still remain on X after they pulled from advertising on the platform. Bob Iger is planning to make Disney into a more small-scale based entertainment source with their films and television in order to spend less and make less. This goes for both how many work on these productions and how small-scale these films' stories will be within the fictional tales. Now, this basically means that a lot of these Star Wars movies, TV shows, Marvel movies and TV shows from 2024 onwards are going to be very tight, all right? They're going to be very much small scale in universe and out universe. What I mean by that is smaller crew members, smaller, uh, you know, uh, cast that are going to be a part of these projects, less stardom power attached to these projects to spend less on those actors and those actresses. And it really just is a bad sign for Disney. This is exactly why I said Fantastic Four and Blade 2025 are going to be the two big failures of that year, right on par with the Marvels and Wish. Because we already know that all of their ideologies are spilling into those projects as it is, and it's already dead on arrival if they are going to double down on all that nonsense. So again, I think that what Elon Musk said what he said on stage, it really sent Disney into turmoil, it really sent them into panic, and this is living proof of exactly how fast it's going into effect now. So overall, I would really love for everyone to chime in below in the comments to really kind of throw in your take on this whole scenario, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, Make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys later.